We the people. We the people are the first three words in the preamble to our Constitution. And really, this is the big picture research. This is the frame that I used to explore how to engage those who typically are not part of We the People. And this research is really important because we know that a civic engagement gap exists. We know that urban youth tend to lose out on the skills, dispositions, resources, and really opportunities needed to fully engage in our society. And most recently, I think the Parkland, Florida students can illustrate this gap. They have been able to so motivate and move our country and, co and companies to make great change. And urban youth often lack that opportunity to have their voices heard in the very same ways. So as an educator who has focused on urban education and technology for over 20 years, I was interested in ways that technology can help bridge the civic engagement gap. And I focused on community technology centers. Community technology centers are places located usually in low income neighborhoods that have, hel that have helped bridge a variety of divides for nearly 30 years. And so I was interested in how these centers could also help bridge the civic engagement divide. I selected two centers located in a mid-Atlantic city, and between those two centers, I had seven participants who were part of my qualitative multi-site, multi-case study. Over 30 hours I spent with these young people, learning about the things that they did with technology in these centers. And what I found is that the products they made allowed them to develop the very skills and dispositions needed in order to engage fully into society. I used the positive technological development framework, which really helped me understand how these young people used their technology. And what I found is through their 3D printed items, their websites, their um, animated videos, their photography, their videos, I found that through those content creations, they developed skills such as communication, collaboration, community building, and they developed civic engagement identities. The literature tells us that these are the very skills that they need in order to participate in fully life. And so really my research helped establish community technology centers as viable places where urban youth can develop these skills and help bridge the digital divide when it comes to engagement. My hope is that as a nation, we can spend more time investing in urban youth and, and all youth, of course, but urban youth specifically, so that we can actually become a more perfect nation through truly we the people. <laughs>